Hi, I'm Squeaky Clean Dave and today I'm going to be reviewing something that I've been waiting absolutely ages to come in. That's the 22 foot high mod over 8 pole from Streamline. So this pole I've actually been waiting for a long time to come out now. Um, it's I've been that excited about it. I've bought it myself. I haven't. Um, it's not a freebie. It's not one that I've been sponsored to do. This is something that I actually wanted. So I actually paid my own money for. Uh, why do I buy a pole when I've got all these others? Well. For a while now I've been getting pains in my hands uh, and that I've put down to having a swivel on the brush. Because uh, you want to control the, the brush um, and you, with the swivel moving around you grip the pole a lot tighter. Now I haven't got a swivel on this one but I've got another one ordered to go on it so I will have a swivel on it. But um, I'm hoping with the two flat sides of the over eight pole that's going to stop that uh, repetitive strain injury in your hand where you're not really gripping tight really squeezing the pole to stop it from moving with the two flat sides you shouldn't have a problem with that at all it should be a lot easier like all over eight poles it is got the two flat sides which uh, stop spin on the pole uh, you don't have to have the clamps done up too tightly because they're only stopping it from sliding up and down uh, they're not stopping it from spinning so because of that you don't have to have it too tight you uh, doesn't wear the pole so much it should last a lot longer the clamps themselves are the V2 version. Uh, they've got a little plastic shim there to stop it wearing. The thumb screw on the side has got teeth in it, so that should stop it from coming unscrewed. Uh, there's a nice, they've got a nice, easy curved feel to them, feel really nice. And they're bolted on, so there's no problem with them being glued on, coming loose. You can just tighten them up with an Allen key, and uh, if you need to replace them, they're really easy to replace as well. The brush I've got with it is the Streamline brush. Uh, it's the dual trim uh, with the synthetic outside and the boar's hair inside. Now, with it warming up a bit, uh, I don't use the hot water so much, so I'll be fine using the, the bristle hairs. Uh, if you're using hot water, I'd advise you not to use bristle because it does go a bit too soft with the hot water. The Jets are really nice, they just screw in really nice, I've got pencil jets at the moment but I've got some fan jets ordered as well, they just screw in really nicely, nice robust fitting as well, don't feel like they're going to break at all, they're a uh, really nice fitting. The brush stock is a uh, quick lock, uh, you just press it, comes off, you can turn it 90 degrees, uh, get into Juliet balconies and that's a really nice brush stock. The gooseneck itself, nice and easy to use. If you want to adjust it, it's got a nice little screw there that you can use to adjust it. Um, that goes really, really well. Works very nicely, very smoothly altogether. I've also bought myself a gardener brush to go on it. Because I wanted to cut down the weight, I've bought a gardener extreme sill brush. Now, I don't usually use the sill brushes. I find them a bit, a bit heavy. Um, but this is the Gardner Extreme. I don't think it's going to last very long because it hasn't got a lot of bristles but Gardner don't pretend it's going to. Uh, but I usually use an Ultimate brush, uh, they're 250 grams, this is 140 grams, 147 I think with the side bumpers on. So with the decreased weight of the uh, high mod pole I'm uh, really looking forward to that. It's going to be a really nice light pole setup to use. The pole itself weighs exactly 1000 grams, uh, which is the same weight as the Phantom uh, high mod pole. The extreme high mod from Gardner weighs 990 grams, so you're only saving 10 grams there, which uh, I don't think I'm going to I'm going to miss. But I do think that um, that having the two flat sides will make it a lot better. Being high mod, it's really nice and rigid. You can see from the picture there alongside my uh, phantom pole that uh, it's a lot more rigid to the phantom pole. Uh, it's uh, really stiff, really nice. Uh, I'm going to enjoy using this when I get round to it soon. 
If there's one thing I don't like about the over eight pole is you can't fit the tubeless kit to it. You have to have a, a pole hose, which uh, really, in my opinion, messes up the van. It's a lot of hose hanging around, especially if you've got a couple of brushes or well, multiple brushes in the van, you've got loads of hose tangled up in the back of the van. But I've actually had a word with Steve from Exceed Innovations uh, and he's uh, got a few ideas on how to fit a tubeless kit. So hopefully, before very much longer, you'll be able to get the tubeless kit for the over a pole. So I will keep you posted with that and uh, let you know as soon as that's available. So I hope you've uh, enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. If you're not already done so, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you soon.